Hey guys, this is Brandon with Taylor's Fire Smoke Cooking. Welcome back to the channel. What we have here on the screen are some spicy salmon street tacos. When I tell you this recipe is fantastic, man, let's go ahead and get into this recipe so you can see how it's done. All right, guys, the seasoning we're going to use on our uh, spicy salmon street tacos, we have this toned six pepper blend. We're going to use Riley's Cajun seasoning. We're going to use that Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. A little bit of olive oil, a little lime juice, which I didn't have a uh, view here. Now we have a couple of fresh salmon fillets. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these fillets and I want to cube them into like three quarter inch cubes. You can go a little smaller or a little larger if you'd like, or even making them in strips. But I just want like some three quarter inch cubes. What you want to do, I want to keep this salmon, uh, the pieces nice and firm and um you know, whole when I cook. I don't want it all mushed up or nothing. So I want to have a nice size uh, chunk. That way when we cook it, it doesn't break down or anything of that nature. So I've got the salmon all cut up. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead on and we're going to start seasoning the salmon up. Okay, we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil to our salmon as a binder. And also it's going to help when we begin to cook it. We're not going to have to put as much oil in our pan. Give it a good mix and then we're going to begin our seasoning. We're gonna go, you know, pretty heavy with our Uncle Steve shake. This is a really, really delicious seasoning. It has a lot of citrusy notes in it. It's really, really good on fish. And I've done it on uh, tilapia, grilled tilapia. If you wanna see that video, I'll have a link in the description as well as the iCard up above. Then we go with this Riley's Cajun seasoning. I really like the Riley's because it's not heavy on salt, but it has an awesome, awesome flavor. Then we're gonna go with that Tone Six Pepper Blend. Now this seasoning alone is nice. A nice spicy uh, seasoning is really, really good with fish as well. And let's go ahead and give it a nice little toss in there. Guys, while you're at it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, make sure your notification bell is turned on. And then share this video out. I'd really appreciate it. Now what I have here is a couple tablespoons, or teaspoons rather, of uh, lime juice. We're going to put a little lime juice in there just for a little bit of a kick. But you make sure you don't want to put too much lime juice in there or leave it in there too long because it will begin to cook your salmon. So you can see how we've got the salmon nice and coated and how good it looks. That's perfect. Now what we're going to do is give it a little bit more of a toss and then we're going to go ahead and add in uh, some of those red, some red onion. Just a couple slivers of red onion just to add another little element of flavor to this dish. I love red onion and I just they're so potent it's gonna it doesn't take long for that flavor to seep in. So we're just gonna make sure we do that and give it a nice little toss. All right, guys, once the salmon is nice and coated, we're going to go into our refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes and let that marinate. Now, what we're going to do now, you know, when you have street tacos, it always comes with your nice white onion and then cilantro. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to put it in a food processor. We have a few sprigs of cilantro and uh, some white onion. Now, it's a lot easier. I mean, it's a, if you want to chop it up by hand, you could do that. It's easier to use a food processor. Um, it's really up to you. I'm going to use some of the cilantro and onion in a different dish, so that's one of the reasons why I did it this way. Um, I just kind of like the texture of it all, but you can, like I said, you could do it by hand or uh, put use a processor if you have one. Now you just want to go ahead and give your processor a few little pulses until you break it down pretty much into the consistency you want it to be. If you want it a little um, more coarse, you go less, but if you want it a little fine, you go more. And this is the consistency I'm going with. So that's our cilantro and white onion we have right there. Now let's go ahead and get this salmon cooked up. It's been 45 minutes and we've had our salmon uh, marinating in the refrigerator. Now it's time to cook it. We've got our skillet hot. Now I would prefer to do this on the Blackstone, but it's a little nasty outside. So inside on the skillet works just as well. Once you have that heated, we're going to go ahead and add some minced garlic to the dish. Um, a couple of teaspoons of minced garlic just to get that flavor in there and to add another little element of flavor. You can never go wrong with a little minced garlic and you want to go ahead and get that started too so it's not as bitter or whatnot. So just go ahead and saute it up just a little bit right before we get ready to add in our salmon. That way we'll make sure that it doesn't burn and it's just right when we're done making our dish. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add in our salmon. Like I said, I wanted to keep it at a three quarter inch or so cube. That way we have a real, real nice consistency and texture on our salmon. 
and when you put in your skillet you want to make sure that you kind of spread it all the way out that way you can make sure each each piece of salmon gets uh, coated and gets a nice little uh, brown to it you don't want any pieces that are you know sitting on top of each other if possible so if you can go ahead and make sure you got it all spread out that way you can get an even cooking on all your fish I just love street tacos you know you can make street tacos with, quite naturally with pork and beef and shrimp or whatever, uh, whatever you want really but I just we're trying to eat a little lighter and I just love the flavor of the street taco and I just like the idea of it so these salmon street tacos are amazing give this recipe a try I guarantee you will love it if you love salmon or seafood give this a, di a, a dish a try and you really don't even have to use the uh, tortilla shells if you don't want to you can just eat the salmon really as it is over some cauliflower rice or something like that but it's fantastic guys so we've allowed this salmon to cook for it's been going about four or five minutes now what I want to do I want to go ahead and add in a couple tablespoons of butter that butter is going to add a nice richness to the fish as well as um, uh, uh, allow us to get a little bit of a sauce to it you know when you have street tacos a lot of times you have a little bit of uh, juiciness or uh, sauce with the uh, meat so that butter allows us to have that as well with our salmon. So that's why I like to do that. Now, if you don't want to use butter, you can leave it out. Maybe add a little more extra olive oil or even coconut oil if you'd like. But that butter does add a nice uh, element to this salmon. Guys, when I tell you my kitchen is smelling fantastic. And just look at this fish. You can see how it has held its form. It's not all broken in a piece or anything. Each piece is still visible. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, what I have here are some corn tortillas we're just going to go ahead and get those heated up real quick and now it's time to plate up guys we're going to go ahead and remove our salmon from the uh, heat that way it doesn't overcook and I'm just going to add it into a separate dish you can see there that we have some sauce and a little juice that's what I was talking about that's exactly what I wanted so we're just going to go ahead and put this in a separate dish that way we don't overcook our salmon and then get ready to uh, plate up I've got my flour tortillas heating up right now you can use flour or corn if you'd like to or you can use a lettuce wrap and make yourself a nice lettuce wrap. So there's very, very uh, versatile what you want to do with this thing. But one thing's for sure, it's going to be fantastic. Let's go ahead on and get our tacos made up. So as you see here, we have uh, three tacos ready. Double shells per taco, just like you would have normally. These shells are really, really thin, so you want to have two. That way you can make sure you can pick them up and enjoy them. So all I'm going to do is we're going to add a nice generous portion of salmon to each taco. We want to make sure that we get some of them juices on a, a taco as well. While these tacos are very, very basic, they are full of flavor and fantastic, guys. Nice big chunks of salmon on each taco. That's exactly the way I want it. You want to be able to taste, you know, get a good bite when you're eating these. And that's exactly what you're going to get. Just add a little bit more of that sauce on each one. You can have a little bit of uh, action running, a little juice running down your, your wrist when you're eating them. Now we're going to put a little bit of that cilantro and onion on it. Now you can go heavy if you want to. You can go light. It's totally up to you. Like I said, you could have hand chopped them if you'd like. But I kind of just like this texture uh, for my cilantro and onions for these street tacos or any other taco for that matter. Man, it's looking so good. I cannot wait. Again, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you have not already. I greatly appreciate it. So what I have here now, I have some uh, spicy salsa verde. We're going to add that on two of our tacos. And then on one of them, we're going to add some of that, my favorite sriracha, that Tabasco sriracha. That has another little smoky element, some extra heat, a little bit of sweet. So I do like having a sriracha on there as well. And you also, you know, your salsa verde has got a little bit of a tang to it. So it's a nice contrast having those different sauces on there. You could use regular red sauce. You can use salsa if you want to. You can go with some uh, red onion, some raw red onion, pickled red onion. But it's really um, endless, the options. But this right here, the way they're made is fantastic. Just check that out, y'all. You can't tell me that doesn't look delicious. And there you have it guys, spicy salmon street tacos, amazing. As you can see, I forgot to uh, wait until I took a bite to get my thumbnail. They were just calling me and they were so good. I just had to get a bite. But take a look at that, look look at the salmon, the onion cilantro, that sauce. Guys, I appreciate you all watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you uh, subscribe, share the video out, and uh, make sure that notification bell is on again. That way you'll know when we have another amazing recipe. God bless you guys.